Hello fellow people. In this new video we will see how data mining is used in weather forecasting. Let's start with the intro part. What is weather forecasting? The weather is one of the most powerful important forces on earth, but how can you plan if you don't know the weather? A lot can go wrong if you don't plan for the weather. A cricket match can be abandoned. Or you can stuck in traffic with heavy rain. While you are busy with your day-to-day -day life. A global network of gadget scans and measures the atmosphere. Collecting data from all over the world. Doppler radar systems. Weather balloons. Ocean monitoring bots and many other cool tools track weather changes that help predict. This tool collects meteorological data that are monthly mean values of pressure, temperature, humidity, wind speed, wind direction, cloud coverage, etc. Another vital ingredient is space. Way out in orbit. Weather satellites are getting the big picture of atmospheric changes. These meteor satellites allow us to see the weather before it reaches us. Orbiting the Earth 14 times a day keeps an eye on the temperature, humidity, and winds. Here we end the data collection part. Data mining techniques and algorithms used in weather forecasting. Clustering. Clustering analyses data objects without consulting a known class label. The unsupervised learning technique of clustering is a useful method for ascertaining trends and patterns in data when there are no predefined classes. K-mean and K-medoids. Classification. Classification is the process of finding a model that describes and distinguishes data classes or concepts to be able to use the model to predict the class of objects whose class label is unknown. Backpropagation. KNN. Artificial Neural Network, ANN. An artificial neural network is information processing that can be inspired by the nature of the human nervous system, which is the brain processing information. The common ANN applications through a learning process are pattern recognition or data classification. Decision tree. Tree-shaped structures that represent sets and decisions. These decisions generate rules for the classification of a data set. Specific decision tree methods include classification and regression trees, CART, and ID3. So these are some techniques and algorithms used in weather forecasting. Consequently, meteor satellite observations are fed into powerful supercomputers along with all other data. These huge machines use these data mining techniques and algorithms to forecast future weather and the process is called numeric weather prediction. This is AI-based tropical rainfall forecasting. Point prediction, each sensor node predicts local rain depth, duration, and intensity. These are the sensor nodes that gather data from the different sensors and transmit it to the SICK node. SYNC node integrates data from the sensor nodes over a wide area. Using these data, the control center processes and forecasts the weather details on the web page, and we can observe them via the internet. Through GSM, an alert SMS is sent to mobile phones in case of an emergency. In the following charts, rain intensity and rainfall duration are plotted against a time of three days, the 4th, 5th, and 6th of October. In this example, we use the blue line to measure that which is predicted and the red line to forecast what will happen. Based on the line charts, 90% accuracy can be predicted in both cases. Furthermore, it aids us in planning our lives and our days. In addition to the government, it also helps. Pilots. Farmers, fishermen, building workers, and all other groups of people. Hopefully, you understood how weather forecasting relies on data mining. Thank you for watching the video. For more interesting videos, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for updates.